All right, in this video, we're going to uh, look at uh, circuits for key stage two. And on our right, we have the key vocabulary. These are the words that you should know uh, by the end of a circuit's unit. So we have the word components, electricity, closed switch, conductor, cell, insulator. This is the negative symbol, positive symbol, bulb, sign, wire, open switch, battery, positive, switch, electrical circuit, negative, and buzzer. And down the left-hand side, we have some basic circuit symbols, uh, also known as components, uh, that you would tend to see in any sort of circuit drawing. So I'm just going to uh, demonstrate for you uh, how, to, how these would match up. This uh, symbol is a switch and that is a closed switch all right the next symbol we have here you can see that there's a gap here this is called an open switch we have this symbol here this is a cell and you can see the positive and negative signs on that symbol. It might be too small for you to see in the in the video, but there's a positive symbol here and a negative symbol here. All right, and this is the word cell. And when you have more than one cell together, it makes up a battery, basically. And again, the long line, he long thin line is the positive and the short, darker line is the negative. So, here is the word battery. And then we get to something very basic. You can't have a circuit without it. Wire. All right, and this is the word wire. And then you have some more interesting circuit uh, components, sorry. Uh, you have this one here, which is a buzzer. This is the symbol for a buzzer, and this is the word buzzer. This is the symbol for a lamp, okay, or a bulb. Okay, and the last one, which we I haven't left enough room for, but this one is a motor, okay. And I don't have it there, so let's write it in. Okay, so again, you have closed switch, open switch, cell, battery, wire, buzzer, bulb, and last but not least, motor. Okay, so as you can see, I've drawn a very simple circuit. I have my battery here with the positive here and the negative over here and I'm using wire and I've made a very simple switch which is uh, closed and I have a buzzer okay and this is a very simple uh, electrical circuit okay so I'll just move that keyword over there Okay, so this is a very simple electrical circuit. And as I said, these are components. The battery, the switch, and the buzzer are all components. Electricity is the flow uh, of electrons through this wire. Right now, right now, this is a closed switch, which means that the electricity can flow freely through the circuit and it's not getting interrupted by anything. Okay, so the next thing we need to talk about are conductors. Okay, so conductors of electricity are things that allow the electricity to flow through. Okay, so obviously if we're using wire, then whatever we use for wire needs to be a good conductor. And one of the, uh, okay, so as I was saying, good conductors are metals, 
and water. Okay, so things like gold, silver, aluminum, and seawater in particular are uh, good conductors. Interestingly, uh, seawater uh, is a very good conductor. Um, and insulators are things which do not allow electricity to pass through. So they basically stop or at least slow down uh, the passage of electricity. Now obviously some insulators are better than others and so you need to always be careful. One of the best insulators for electricity is rubber. Another one is glass and a third one is plastic. There are other insulators just as there are other conductors but these are the three best known insulators and these are the three best known conductors. Okay, so as I said earlier, we have uh, the positive end of the battery and the negative end of the battery. We have a closed switch and we have this buzzer. Now, what would happen to the buzzer if we opened that switch? So, for example, if I took that out, what would happen to that buzzer? Would it still work? Well, this is called an open switch. And that means that the flow of electricity is being interrupted here. The electricity cannot jump that much of a space. So that means that the flow of the electricity is stopped. That means the buzzer would not work. All right. Now, what would, do you think would happen if we closed this switch? Okay, we made it back into a closed switch. So I've closed the switch. What would happen if I added another buzzer? All right. So instead of one buzzer, I have two buzzers. What would happen if I didn't change the battery and it's still a closed switch and I didn't change anything else in the circuit, I didn't add or take away anything, but I just added one more buzzer, what do you think would happen? Okay, if you said that the buzzer would be quieter or it would stop working, that's correct because you have a fixed amount of electricity going through these wires. Okay, the buzzer uses some of the electricity. If you now have a second buzzer, then those buzzers are using more of the fixed amount of electricity. So obviously, they're both going to be quieter. One might be slightly louder than the other, but they're both going to be quieter. And obviously, if we added a third buzzer, then they would be much quieter or stop working. The fix for that, if you have two buzzers, is you might have to add another battery, or two, or three. Okay? Right, well, I hope that's been helpful to you. Good luck.